Thameska CTV. Now guys, on Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock, we take on Spurs at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League. Now guys, although I do hate saying this, because obviously Tottenham are our London rivals, and us Chelsea fans don't really like Tottenham, Tottenham are sitting higher up on the table than we are. They're sitting fourth, we're sitting fifth. They've got 61 points and we've got 56 points. Now, we know that we need to get in the top four this season. We need to finish in the top four of the table. We need to be picking up as many points as we possibly can. And we know that this weekend, it is our chance to get them three points and close that gap. Because if we don't, it'll be so disappointing. And if we want that top four, we need to be picking all the points that we can. We need to be winning every game. So yeah, I am really nervous and there is a lot of pressure riding on this game. Now, guys, we all know that this is going to be a really hard London derby. I mean, it always is against Spurs, isn't it? But we've we've beat them before. Why can't we do it again? Now, obviously, earlier on in the season, in August, when we played them at Wembley, um, I remember that game clearly, actually. We obviously beat them. So we definitely have got a chance. Of course we have. And we are on home ground. Soil, I mean. Home ground. Home soil. So that does make a difference when you have got the home advantage. Our fans will be well up for it. We need to sing loud and proud for our boys and get behind our team. We can't do any more. We've just got to absolutely go for this game with everything we've got. And I know that our club has a massive habit of stepping up for big games. We know that we can lose against what? Watford and Bournemouth but when it comes to the big games against big teams we're well up for it we've had the international break we've had a rest we've had a break I know that our players some of our players have been out on international duty but we're back now and it's I suppose it's like a clean slate isn't it fresh start time to get the points and let's start by getting all three points against Tottenham on Sunday afternoon now, guys, I know of recent, I have been, like, predicting my starting 11. Now, I'm not even going to predict my starting 11 for this game against Spurs at the weekend because in these games, I always think it is so hard to pick a perfect starting 11. But I know, as a matter of fact, that Conte will pick a really strong team. Now, guys... In reality, we know that we need to really be starting with a striker for this game. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we know we need that clinical point. Um, the false nine sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, sometimes it's successful. But in a game like this, we can't be risking anything. We need that clinical point up front. We know we need a striker up front to feed the ball off. So in my opinion, we need to be starting with a striker. Whether that's Giroud or Morata, let me know down below, guys. Who would you like to see start up? front against Spurs on Sunday I really don't know I think it is such a hard choice and I am very stuck between them two strikers because I think they've both got so much talent and potential and it's really hard to actually pick one or the other and I sometimes wish that Con A would even try them both up front just see how it goes I mean what would it actually be like with um Morata and Giroud up front would it work would it not but it'd be interesting to see them play both up top together and see how that went So guys, as I said, this is a really nerve-wracking game. We know that there's so much pressure riding on it. We need to get the three points. We need to close that gap up. And as I said, we want to get in the top four this season. We need to beat Spurs. I know we can. If we go out with that fighting mentality to win the game, motivation and dedication from minute one, we'll be able to do it. So guys, I'm about to give you my score prediction. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to be really honest. I don't think we are going to keep a clean sheet on Sunday because Spurs are quite an attacking side. But I'm going to go... I'm going to go 2 on Chelsea, you know, because, as I said, I do think it is going to be a tight, close-knitted game. So, yeah, I'm going to go 2 on Chelsea. So come down below your score predictions, guys. Now, guys, I'm even going to predict who's going to score on Sunday. So, as I said, my score prediction is two on Chelsea, and I predict Willian to score a goal because he hates Tottenham, obviously. Um, yeah, that'd be hilarious if Willian scored, and I bet he will. And also, I'm actually going to go for Kante to score. And obviously, it was his birthday yesterday, and you guys know how much I love Kante. He's such a babe. He's so cute. I love him so much. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go for William and can't A to score and um, see ya. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your pre-match thoughts, your score predictions and your predicted team lineup. And guys, don't forget to tune in now before kickoff on Sunday afternoon where I'll be bringing you both Chelsea's and Tottenham's team lineups. Guys, I can't wait. I'm feeling really nervous but really excited for this game. Premier League football's back and I'll see y'all on Sunday. Up the Chelsea. Thanks.